Hi friends, welcome to another video of Harrenfield and firstly I'm very sorry for not uploading for quite a while because my school had just started and I had many things to complete and I was so busy with school so that's why I was really busy and so that's why I couldn't upload any videos for quite a while and I'm so sorry about it guys so Today I'm gonna to make a, I'm gonna do a video on maths because I've seen many people in my comment boxes for my video saying they wanted a video on maths, maths, maths. And I just couldn't get time to do it, but I made some time for myself today. So I'm gonna I thought I can complete my maths video for, for you guys. So again, stay tuned in and let's get started with the video. succeed in the maths for the long plus and for any other academic test. So again, stay tuned, sit back and relax and let's get started. Maths is an essential skill for every person, especially for those that are taking the long plus exam. Your ability in maths will be tested as a part of the exam and knowing what to expect in the exam will give you a higher boost of confidence level. So what does the maths test involve? It mainly involves of fractions, multiplication, division, charts and graphs, number sequences, area perimeter, and shapes and angles. The Learn Plus Maths curriculum is designed to assess how well a child is able to deal with basic mathematical questions, procedures, and terminology. Assessors need to be able to determine a student's progress in regards to the required standards and whether or not each child meets their exam expectations. These questions of maths will often vary and will change consider considerably over each year of the Learn Plus. However, the mathematical style of, of such questions may be similar. So let's start with my first tip. Before you start revising, get all your notes sorted and draw a list of all the topics you need to cover for, the, for the, your exam. This serves two purposes. You will definitely cover everything you need to cover and a bit of tidying and sorting out it is, is a nice relaxing way to ease yourself into the revision process. Next tip is plan exactly when you are going to revise and be strict with yourself. Don't just wake up one Saturday and say that you are going to be revising all day because you probably won't get a lot done. Say that you will work from 10 to 11 in the morning then take a half hour break then work until 12.30 then have some nice lunch then do another hour then go for a walk and do and so on and do this and repetitively you'll get used to this process if you are only revising in small chunks and if you know the next break is just around the corner your, your revision is likely to be much more focused and, and effective third tip Give yourself little treats and things to look forward to. If you do a good day of revision, take the night off, watch some telly, go and see your friends. Put all thoughts of maths and school to the back of your mind. Buy yourself some chocolate, but only let yourself eat and enjoy once you have achieved what you need to do. Fourth tip, don't just read through the textbook. The only way to revise maths is to do maths. You will do much better spending 20 minutes doing maths questions than spending two hours just reading a textbook. The more questions you do yourself, the more you will get it right. The higher your confidence will be, the more you enjoy your revision and the better you will be doing in the exam. Fifth tip, use the internet. The internet is like having your own personal teacher who is available for you whenever you like. There are websites that can send you questions and mark them for you, take you through step by step how to tackle certain topics, and use fancy illustrations and animations that might just make that really annoying topic in maths just fine to make it sense to you. There are also some maths games that are totally brilliant, which you can play to practice crucial skills in a, in a much more fun way than reading a textbook and get bored. All this stuff is out there for you, so use it! 
16 bonus practice the topics you can do. If you are really good at fractions, for example, it is very tempting to keep doing lots of fraction questions and then smiling as you keep getting them right. But unfortunately, guys, there are only maximum one or two fraction questions in the exam. So keep on doing the questions that you struggle at so you get, keep on getting better and better at it. Although it can be painful, work your way through them. Work your way through the topics that you struggle with. Because it is much better to struggle in them at home when you have time on your side and the answers available than it is to struggle in the exam. Seventh tip is to make sure you ask for help. Okay, once you are in the exam, you are you're on your own. But during revision, you are certainly not. If you are stuck on a topical question, ask your person, ask your friends from your class, um, ask a teacher, or ask your, your, your parents, your mom or dad, or if you have an older sibling, you can ask them as well. Or look at the internet. Don't suffer alone. So this is my eighth tip, my friends. And this tip is really crucial towards you if you're doing the Learn Plus exam mainly. Practice doing questions on the exam conditions. Get someone to pick you a set of questions from your textbook. Or get some from a maths website and try doing them in silence with no help for a fixed amount of time. This will get you used to what it will be like in the exam, how fast you need to go, and it and this way is the best way of checking that you really understand the topic. My ninth tip is to practice using a calculator. Many people seem to assume that any question that lets you use a calculator is easy. And all calculators work the same. Those people are wrong on both counts. All calculators work differently. And unless you have used your lots of different types of questions, for example, trigonometry, Pythagoras, negative numbers, indices, such as that, you might get you might come unstuck in the exam. Alright, if there are any problems early enough to correct them. So friends, this is my second to last tip. If it works for you, try revising with a friend for a bit of time. You'll find that one of you understands one topic more. And what I mean by this is if you have a friend that loves negative numbers and you just you're just not good at negative numbers, but you are the best, for example, um, uh, fra uh, fractions and he's not good at all in fractions this is what I mean whilst the other is, in a, is a bit of an expert on another just by explaining things to a friend you will, fr you will find that your understanding increases and likewise you might learn a different way of thinking about and understanding a topic and this is the most important tip of all in this video and this is my last tip to give to you guys Try not to worry. A little worry is not a bad thing as it keeps you focused, but revision certainly shouldn't be a stressful time for you. It, could, it should be a time where your brain gets a chance to sort out all the information it has been bombarded with and make sense of everything. If you follow the tips above that I have just told you, especially about getting yourself a revision schedule and asking always for help, you should find that revising for maths or any other exam it's not that painful after all. So friends, these are my learning tips and I hope you enjoyed them and I hope this, these tips will help you in the future. And again, I'm wishing you guys all the best for your exams. And again, I'm so sorry for not uploading in quite a while because um, of school. So, I hope you guys are, will enjoy your, your rest of the day. And again, and again, stay safe and alert. Ooh, 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 ooh. I forgot one thing. Don't go, just wait. Don't forget to like.